everybody, welcome to my daily vlog for today. Um, before I watch what I'm getting to ready to watch or start watching, which is, um, I haven't watched this in a couple years, um, Dawes Boat, the director's cut. For most of you guys who don't, uh, for some of you guys who don't know, this is one of my favorite films. Um, I say that about a lot of movies, but I basically have like a list of like 200 movies that I consider my favorite and I revisit them a lot. And so sometimes when I say um, it's one of my all time favorite films, it's because that's how big my list is. I've seen and I own, you know, thousands of movies, but I've seen so many movies in my lifetime that I'm able to compile a list of that many. Every time I have, I want to add another one to that list, I just write it down. I have a notebook. That, I write, that I've been writing them down in for years, and so. But I love this film, but I also love, um, you know, I love the director's cut, that's my preferred cut. But then there's the TV cut, that's like six, or no, like five hours long. Um, I think it was six hours with commercials, and it's the original German uncut version, and it is amazing. But I think the director's cut is the perfect cut because it's, um, the theatrical edition, you know, two and a half hour film with a lot of that character development and extra stuff in it to make the director's cut. It's, you know, Wolfgang Peterson's preferred cut. But anyways, I'm going to be starting it tonight and hopefully continuing and finishing it before work tomorrow. Um, one thing I was watching one of my buddies videos, my friend Shane, um, you know, but we've been friends for a while. And it was an older video of his, and he was talking about dreams and how dreams, you know, are really interesting. It had me made me think about um, how weird dreams actually are. You know, you could have dreams, and you could, like, for instance, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, um, it was after we got back from the hurricane. Hurricane Matthew when we got back from vacation I had a dream sorry I'm itching something I had a dream that um for some reason my wife was not where I was at and I could not get to her I couldn't reach her on the cell phone something was going on but anyways because of that I woke up that day feeling like I was really depressed and I kept wanting to call her you know, or I kept texting her and saying, have a good day, you know, I love you. And maybe I was doing it a little bit too much. And it made me think, I was like, try, I wish we had the day off where we could spend the day together, that kind of thing. And I realized it's because I had, you know, I always want to spend time with her, but it's because I had that dream that in the dream I couldn't find her and I was worried. And so I woke up feeling like that, or not feeling, feeling kind of alone, that kind of thing. And it just shows you like how powerful the mind is, but also how, you know, I always think of like Inception, brilliant film. Um, there's some liberties or there's some, you know, you know, completely sci-fi type stuff going on with the dreaming and being in your dream space and everything like that. But there's actual people out there that try to actually lucid dream and, you know, that's basically where you dream, but you can actually, like, control what, what you're doing in your dreams. And it's, like, almost like you're conscious for the dreams. Um, I've always thought that would be so awesome to do, where you can maneuver in the dream worlds. But I was just thinking, you know, I saw a documentary on dreams, and I've always been kind of fascinated with the whole idea and what causes dreaming and not necess I'm not one of those people that are like, you know, if you dream of one, if this, if you dream of this, that means you're, this is going to happen in your life. I don't really mean that. I just mean like the actual, um, you know, there's some people that say like, if you dream, you know, just for instance, if you dream of a biscuit, that means tomorrow your car is going to break down. Like there's that kind of stuff that I'm just like, eh, you know, that's, that's getting into weird stuff. But um, I think dreams and 
can be interpreted in a way of like maybe something that you're dealing with or you're struggling with it could open your eyes to some stuff i think that it's just a powerful thing and it's so misunderstood and not understood and there's so much insane theories sorry i actually had to delete some stuff off my phone because i ran out of room but basically there's a lot of crazy stuff with dreams and there's actually about lucid dreaming because um, I was really interested in learning how to do it. I thought it would be cool to be able to control what you dream about and all that kind of stuff. Basically, whenever you dream, you have to write down in a dream journal what you remember. And then you do that every day as much as you can. And basically, you just kind of are programming your brain to remember these details. And you eventually, your brain psychs itself out to believe that you're dreaming of this stuff. And it's about... All this craziness, and I wanted to try to do it. I never did it. Um, let me know down below. Have you guys ever experienced any of those weird, um, or tried to do any lucid dreaming? Or what are some your theories about dreaming? What are some of your ideas about what dreaming is? Um, of course, you know, there's the scientific, you know, kind of answer that, you know, basically it's just your your brain just working because you go to sleep but your unconscious mind or the subconscious is always kind of going I don't know but um I was just thinking and there's been dreams too that I've felt so nostalgic for stuff like I'll dream of childhood and I'll wake up really feeling nostalgic for whatever it is whatever I'm thinking about and I just think it's so interesting that's really what it comes down to it's just really interesting so I'm going to leave it with that. I'm going to um, watch some of this movie before I go to bed. Um, so I work tomorrow and the next day. And I'm off Friday and Saturday. Yay! So I think Saturday sometime, I got somebody coming to the house to do some work. A handyman kind of person to come to the house and do some work on a couple things. But I'm going to try maybe to... Um, go walking somewhere, find a place to go to walk, whether it's the Arboretum or whether it's the beach. Uh, I'm going to find something. So thank you guys so much for continuing support. I don't expect you guys to want to watch every single vlog, especially as of late, some of the shorter ones and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, like you guys that have been following me, you know, I've been crazy busy with work. Um, you guys know what's going on. So, um, Love y'all. Thank you so much for your support. I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Um, a little on the tired side in some ways, but we're in the holiday season. It's going to be a great holiday season. I'm um, looking forward to it. Looking forward to the next couple months. By January, everything should be tip top in regards to my job. Um, so I'm just looking forward to so much. And so I'm in good spirits. It's just some of these long hours it's hard to put in quality time to make every video longer um like last night was the super moon thing completely out of focus but um you know it was just something to put up i did film it came home went to sleep early that night um tonight feeling a little hyper not high, i mean i'm just drinking <laughs> drinking some water we had tacos for dinner um but you got a little bit more energy so I'm going to start a film, um, probably go to sleep by 12 o'clock, um, and probably wake up in the morning and have a cup of coffee and continue with the movie. So that's, that's my plan. So as always, thank you guys so much for the support and, um, like just being there. I know you guys, some of you guys that don't watch every single video and I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you if you, you didn't watch any of them. I'm just joking. Um, like I don't expect you guys to watch every single video I know some videos get more views than the others and that's perfectly fine um, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing good and just been really busy as of late I have a feeling this channel is going to be go through those kind of seasons because I don't plan on stopping um, unless I really wake up one morning and I feel like it's the best to stop I don't plan on stopping I think when it's going to get to a point to where um you know, the past hundred vlogs or so have been me dealing with a lot of busyness from work. 
um, with some other stuff in between. But I think it's going to get to the point where the balance is going to be more towards on like the fun stuff again. I think that's what how these channels go. I think it just goes in seasons. Uh, there's places I want to do and places I want to visit. But sometimes, you know, I can't do it every day. We all have jobs. We have to support families and stuff like that. And sometimes we can't really do that kind of stuff. So I think it's going to be, um, it's going to go through seasons of this kind of thing. Um, so I'm optimistic anyways. Anyways, I'm doing good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I, man, it takes me forever to say bye to y'all because I love y'all so much. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.